Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new rising star Kadarius Tony. Before we hop into it though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So the subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And I also will leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We are live almost every single night over on Twitch. So if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. Link for the Twitch channel down in the description. And the shout out for today's video a lot of you guys went crazy yesterday on the emoji so shout out to all of you really but the shout out today goes to my man toxic green shout out to toxic green for commenting the emoji on last video okay so here is the rising star Kadarius tony and i did see a little bit of disrespect come Kadarius' way yesterday but Kadarius tony is probably gonna be on my team honestly slot archetype is the main reason why if you watch the cole beasley gameplay last wednesday um i love this archetype a whole bunch you know slot -omatic. Is 2 AP, you have Slot Apprentice 1 AP for those added hot routes. If you don't have a hot route master quarterback, a Slot Apprentice receiver is really key. And I know a lot of you guys like the, you know, the big 6-5 receivers, but um, I feel like there is a time and place for a smaller receiver, especially one like Kadarius that can run, I mean, with deep route specialist, will hit two deep route running thresholds, I mean, hit two route running thresholds, sorry, 91 short and 90 deep, so two thresholds right there, good speed, 91 acceleration, if we head down here, they gave the card 92 COD, his like 72 or whatever it was, had like 87 COD, so I mean, 92 COD is pretty solid, his spin a little bit lower than I thought it was going to be, but it's good, a good juke, a lower break tackle, this card isn't as good after the catch as I really thought he was going to be, I thought they were going to at least give him maybe like a 94 COD with like a 93 juke and at least a 90 spin but i mean this card if, if you do juke and stuff this card should still feel all right but um, i'm mean, kind of expecting a lot from this card today i was kind of hoping for him on the last rising stars drop i am kind of happy now that i did wait to drop this card but slot like i said slot archetype um very good abilities today i'm only i'm only gonna be rocking with slot omatic on him today um for better cuts and catching on short slot routes i love this ability a whole lot um, because yeah, they, they catch everything with Slotomatic on if it's over the middle like that. So um, there we go. Yeah, Slotomatic 2 AP. Like I said, also does get stuff like Slot Apprentice. Um, route Technician is 3 AP. But honestly, if you you, you can get Slotomatic for cheaper, just run Slotomatic over Route Tech in my opinion. But um, yeah, deep in, deep out, 2 AP. I'm um, just get mid in, short in. I feel like short in on slots should be one, but that's just my opinion. I don't, I don't know. That's just that's just how I'm feeling. But um, yeah, those are the abilities right there for our board Kadarius and like I said I've been expecting this card for a minute so I am kind of expecting a lot from him today and as you guys can see the lighting's already screwing up with the side of my shoulder look, look, look my hands up look, look, look what happens to the lighting bro that's crazy all right let's hop into the gameplay um I apologize for the lighting but it, it is what it is bro all right here we go game number one we are facing clip dat and he's got a uh, DK Metcalf and he had um uh Aaron Donald there and then his third was Youngblood so those are, that's his team. I mean, it's all right. Nothing too special, obviously. But um, we're starting off on defense, so we're going to have to get a stop. Actually, I'm just going to let him score, honestly. I'm just going to let him score. And look, look at Kadarius' drip. That's another thing. Kadarius Tony's drip is some of the best in the game right now, in my opinion. Run with that. Oh, my. Dude, Zach Wilson has been really selling me recently. So this game, by the way, is also Zach Wilson's final tryout because the way he's been playing, if you were in the stream last night, you know, that boy Zach Wilson was playing a little bit too realistic for my liking. So, yeah, we're going to have to figure that one out. And um, my, my, I might go back to the, the Mike White or Fitz Magic, honestly. I'm between those two guys right now. And let's just try this little rollout dot here to Kadarius. Slide o -matic's lighting up. Kadarius Tony should catch that every single time with that slide o -matic. First down for Kadarius. And also, the reason why we love Kadarius Tony is because this, this play right here. We come down here, we go bunch tight end. We want to get Kadarius on that inside slot guy. What number is he? 89, 89, 89. Okay, get him right there in there. Okay, beautiful. And then we're going to go Kadarius on the stretch alert bubble. Just If you can get the ball into Kadarius' hands, he's a special talent. So just get the ball in his hands. He has the good speed, the good acceleration. By the way, you're seeing this card not powered up today. Yes, I do have a speed boost. But if you have a Giants theme team on top of that, I mean, you got B-Marsh, Plexico, and Kadarius. That's a scary three. And they all get plus two speed, which is even more terrifying. Get it out here. Kadarius has the ball in his hands now. Get outside. There's the speed. Kadarius looking down the sideline. Stop. I tried a little stop and go. It didn't work. But Kadarius Tony, 
One rush, 14 yards, making it look easy. You know, he honestly might be playing man. I can't tell. Yeah, I think he wasn't man. I'm still going to throw that. I'm not really afraid of that dude on the other man. Get outside. Kadarius Tony with another nice play. We are feeding Kadarius right now. I don't remember what I was saying, to be honest with you, before I threw that pass. Against man or zone, we, we can usually get someone open here. If it is Kadarius, that would be a nice plus, obviously. But let's see. Use a rush. Okay, we should have. This should be pretty clear cut and easy for Kadarius. Oh, my. Look at the separation he's got. There's a juke animation. Touchdown, Kadarius Tony. First drive was like butter, man. Like, honestly, too easy. Kadarius has the drip. He has the after the catch, the speed, the route running against man coverage. Um, a really nice drive for Kadarius Tony. Basically, what I thought, you know, he was going to be that, that short yardage um, monster. He's been that today. So, shout out to Kadarius for balling on the first drive. This guy's still user pass rushing. And that route got bumped real bad. I'm throwing the ball to Kadarius regardless. Oh, bad throw by Wilson. Oh, that's when he, he took out Jim Kelly and put in Mac Jones just to do that. So he, wait, why is, wait, that's a, wait, 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 wait. He's running a dual QB scheme, but the backup had abilities the, the main guy didn't. And he had Jim Kelly. What, a, what is going on right now? Got to be a blitz, right? Get up with Kadarius. That route, the way he's been pressing, it's been, been kind of weird. But Kadarius, Tony, touchdown for the second of the day. Short field for the second one, but still getting the job done there. And let's go to... Actually, this end's not going to play deep enough. Let's see how this works. Oh, that route got pressed so hard, though. Kadarius down there somewhere, honestly. Oh, I, was, I didn't even know he was right there. Kadarius, Tony, two-point conversion. I thought he was on the other side of the field. See how that worked. I didn't even see him. I, I, I No, I saw him. I saw him. No, yeah, yeah, I saw him. And yeah, by the way, we also did get, I mean, last night they did reveal two rising stars, but um, they also did reveal two more this morning. Um, they were two defensive players. I thought we were going to get one defensive, one offensive today, but it didn't work out that way. We got uh, Jordan Fuller, who is a zone safety with 91 speed, 92 acceleration. He, he does, does have good zone threshold, good against the run, solid against the run with that good pursuit. But other than a Rams team team, this card isn't anything really too special. And we also got Greedy Williams, who... Is honestly not on a theme team. Might be one of like one of like the best corners in the game. Like legit, 92 speed, 91 acceleration, hits two thresholds. As Revis just made an interception, but I mean a good pursuit against the run as well. I mean this is a really good corner card, regardless of it, if you have him on a theme team or not. Like legit, this card is the real deal. So uh, Greedy Williams, Kadarius, I think are the two best cards from today's drop in my opinion. So if you are looking to maybe pick a dude for your free wild card Wednesday, this, this dude just quit. But I think Greedy Williams, if you don't need a receiver, is better than Kandarius right now. Like, if, if you have, if you have that free choice, I really do because one for for free NAT cards, I love picking um, you know either corners or receivers because of, because of their depth and like you know they usually don't get replaced that often. If you have an NCAT card, you know you you literally can't replace them unless you I guess quick sell them, right? But yeah, I'd probably go Greedy or Kadarius. I mean, two thresholds, good speed, good pursuit. Card six two by the way as well. I mean, a big body corner. Greedy Williams is a super legit card. Big W for EA on this one. Just a weird start, though. I feel like we should have a little more time than we have right now. And now he's running with Kadarius. It might be a laser, though. Ooh, we actually got that there, and Kadarius dropped it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I maybe should have possession caught that. What's Kadarius is catching traffic again? Because, I mean, that was... He's got 88 catching traffic. Okay. And um, if the pass rush wasn't in our lap the whole time, we probably had that way earlier. Roll up here. We should get Kadarius open for the first down. Look on. Oh, he did. Thank you. Let's go. First down, Kadarius. Showing off that COD. No juke. N nothing too special there. Just showed off a little, little, little change of direction, making it look nice and easy for our boy Kadarius. Get open, Kadarius. Underneath Kadarius. slide matic And we're going to go to the RPO here and try to get this first down. So one thing I have noticed with this play is the quarterback is more prone to fumble when you have Gunslinger. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's been that... Oh, his spinning really isn't good, which sucks. His spin, I mean, I probably could have tried beating him in the corner. I wanted the TD, though. But, yeah, his spin is not good. Like, it, it's not, which is kind of unfortunate because I was really hoping that he'd be, like, an absolute demon after the catch and get all the good slot stuff. I mean, he still gets all the good slot stuff, but and can juke and has good COD, but the spin is a very key move in Madden 22 next gen. All right, slot automatic's going to light up. We're going to get Darius open. There we go. Okay, I, I, what I wanted actually worked right there. I ran that perfect, and I feel like my vision's starting to come back. I don't know. My vision, kind of on the comeback right now um, from where it was. Let's try a little flanker drive. Uh, th this drag route out of here does get kind of glitchy. And um, that Gronk route is also nice, too. Especially if you, if you have red zone threat, that, that Gronk route gets real nice. He's, is he not here right now? Spin that back. There. Oh, there's the spin animation. 
Okay, maybe he's maybe he's got it. Maybe maybe Kadarius has got what it takes, man. Maybe Kadarius has got what it takes. Kadarius Tony. Um th three TDs, three drives, and let's try I mean we can go for two. Um we can give it a try, I guess. Why not? I want to try this play again. I feel like I didn't like what happened the last time whenever we ran this. Because that dude got our dude got pushed off the route real bad. But there's a way I'll be able to set up a nice combo here. I'm actually gonna flat route him. Let's flat route him. And how does the one play work? Maybe I'll just streak him like that, clear it out or something like that. Maybe we try this. This is what I wanted to happen. Like get a good clear out, and then your opponent doesn't really see him coming back. Two point conversion is good. And Kadarius Tony, basically a th basically th three perfect drives besides the one drop on that deep bomb. That's about it. But as far as a short yardage slot guy, he's been everything that I've wanted him to be. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Kadarius Tony gameplay. And this card right here is definitely one I recommend. I was kind of down to spin for a little bit, but then that last touchdown we had kind of you know brought my hopes back up. That was a really nice spin move. But yeah, good COD, good juke. The carrying a little bit concerning because I feel like with a guy like Kadarius, I'm gonna try to do too much and fumble, but. It's okay. It's not always a bad thing to try to do too much because most of the time it doesn't work out for you. But good, good short routing if you have a deep route running specialist. Strat card hits two thresholds. Um, good speed and uh, card felt good. The card looked good. Card played good. That's all you can really say about it. So if you do have you know that free wild card Wednesday, I think either going him or Greedy Williams are two really good options. Like those are two really good options. Um, both both positions have a lot of depth, so you're most likely going to be keeping those cards for a minute. So. I, I think Kadarius or Greedy, honestly, Greedy might be a slightly better option just because that Greedy Williams card, I mean, we, we already went over him, but he's ridiculous. 6'2", good speed, two thresholds, good pursuit. That card is actually crazy, but Kadarius Tony, definitely a card I recommend. He's getting the seal of approval today. And uh, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment. Let's comment with the tooth emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.